Good day, everyone. Um, today, it's Brian again. We're going to be uh, taking a look at MT4 real quick. Uh, let's see. MT4 pushed out a update recently that made it more along the lines of MT5 with file structures. Uh, the one thing that I've noticed, a lot of people have been having issues now with adding custom indicators in since they did it more MT5-like. Some people have had absolutely no issues at all, and some people just, you add an indicator in, it gets grayed out, or even if it's yellow or grayed out, still won't work. You can't add it to the chart. Uh, you can check if you go to help and about. Like, for instance, I'm on build 600. I've seen someone 604 and someone 610. Once you're above the six, once you're out of the 500 series, you're into the new version they have that changed the file structure. Basically, it incorporated a lot of the features of MT5 down into MT4 because everyone's refusing to go to MT5. So they're pushing it down. Um, let's see. So what can you do? Basically, what used to happen is you would just go to local disk C. You'd go to wherever your your uh, tra your MT4 was, and you'd have a folder that says indicators. If you notice on the new one, there's no indicators. Well, if you go to experts and indicators, there's the old folder. If you do notice now, though, what you have is a folder that says MQL4. And if you go into there and then go into indicators, from now on, this is where you need to copy your indicators. You need to dump them into here to get them to work. But even if you do this, some people are still having issues. So the, e the way to fix that and the way to get around that, and I'll show you real quick, is I'm going to minimize this. If you go to your MT4 icon on your desktop, if you right click it, then go to properties. Make sure you then are on the shortcut tab. You're going to see something that says target. Now this is going to vary from operating system to operating system. What you want to do is scroll all the way to the end. I just use my my arrow key, scroll all the way to the end. It's going to look like this. So it's going to, it'll have whatever your target is, but when you get to the end, it's going to have the quotation marks. Press the space bar once. You need a space in there. If not, what you're going to get is, I'll show you, P-O-R-T-A-B-L-E. You're going to put slash, a forward slash portable on there. If you hit apply without the space, it's going to say that it's incorrect. So if you do that, don't be alarmed. All it means is you forgot the space. Press the space bar, put slash portable apply. Now apply grays out and we're good. That's step one. Step two to get this nasty little bugger to work. We want to put run this program as administrator, hit apply, and OK. Now whenever you open up MT4, if this is if you were having issues. If you weren't, don't worry about it. Leave it as is. Probably the next build they'll get you. But MT5 has a similar setup as this now. so. This that's the only reason I could right away jump on it and know what was going on. Um, but now when you go into your custom indicators, you can drag and drop them onto here. Um, for instance, some DLL-based indicators died. Like this little news indicator I have up here. It did not work until I went through these steps and did it. It just it, it would say failed to load files because it didn't have the... What's happening is the Windows user account control was killing it. So it, this corrects the issue and lets you work around the Windows UAC because if you compiled an indicator before you did these steps it wouldn't have the right privileges to compile it or when you added it into the custom indicators folder it wouldn't have the privileges to fully kick it in. Windows was actually blocking it not MT4 but this is a quick workaround for it so again real quick in review make sure MT4 is closed go to your icon let's say if it was a Wanda I would go to properties and I go over here. This one doesn't have it, so I do space. Have to have the space slash p o r t a b slash portable. Hit apply. This one says I need administrator privileges, so just go ahead and hit continue. Now it's done. Go to compatibility. Run as administrator. Hit apply, and OK. Basically, this patch was shoved down everyone's throats. The brokers are pushing out all different versions of it. But this should get you back up and running if you like to play around with custom indicators like I do. If you have any questions, hit me up on the forum, Skype, whatever. Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it helps you out fix their nice little screw-up. Well, in my opinion, a screw-up. But have a great day either way.